It's hard to remember a time a quarterback got this much heat after getting drafted inside the top 10. People were seemingly just waiting for Josh Allen to fail, however, that has not been the case at all. I'm not sure if he's been the best quarterback out of that draft class, but he might be the most fun to watch. And let me show you what I mean with this play. At first, you're going to be confused as to why I'm talking about this play in a video about Josh Allen, as it's going to be a run to the right side of the screen. Now, Cameron Wake is actually going to do a great job of winning his one-on-one -on -one matchup and moving the line of scrimmage backwards, and so what McCoy is going to do here is actually break to the top half of the screen, and since he does a good job of doing that, he now has a lot of room to run. However, what's really interesting to me at least, is look at Josh Allen on this play. Look at how far behind everyone else he is. How many quarterbacks in the league would just sort of stay there and let the play develop? I would guess about, if there's 32 starting quarterbacks, I would say probably 29 or 30 of them would. However, sitting back and watching a play just isn't in Josh Allen's DNA. He full on sprints to try to get into the play, and even ends up throwing a block. It wasn't exactly the most brutal block you'd ever see, but it did help McCoy out, and I think it does an even better job of showing just the kind of heart that Josh Allen has. The guy's an absolute gamer, and he's one of those guys that if you're a Buffalo Bills fan, you're going to absolutely love having him as your quarterback. This next play is another play that doesn't start off like it's going to be a good play for Josh Allen. In fact, it starts off as though it's going to be a bad play for Josh Allen. As you see, that's the route concept on the screen, and Miami's playing man coverage on this play. And so one of the best routes to try to beat man coverage would be that one. As you see, that's exactly what happened, and Buffalo was able to get a receiver open. However, there's one problem, and it's Josh Allen fell down. I'm not really sure what happened, but somehow he slipped and ended up on the ground. However, look at Allen's awareness here. He knows it's man coverage, and typically on man coverage, it's a good idea for a quarterback to run the ball. Typically, you don't fall down before doing that. However, it doesn't matter. Josh Allen's still able to look up, realize that he can get some yards forward, and just starts running for a first down. It's just another one of those plays where 28 or 29 quarterbacks end up just staying down, not wanting to get hurt, and end up just taking a sack. However, Allen has no quit in him, and he's able to run for a big game. While clearly Allen has a lot of heart, and he has the intangibles that I think you need as a quarterback, that can only get you so far. You have to have talent as well, and in my opinion, Josh Allen absolutely does. And I don't just mean he's a talented athlete, because I think we all know that, but he's a smart player too. And take a look at this play for example. As you see, Miami has 7 Dolphins on the line, which is usually a sign for either a blitz or for man coverage. However, instead, Miami is going to be running a modified cover 3 zone with a 5-man rush. This is the route concept that Buffalo is going to be running, and against this kind of formation, really that's the route you'd want to throw to, because it's a short route underneath the defense, and it could end up for maybe 5-6 yards. It's not a game-breaking play, but in this concept, it's really the only play that would be open. Most defenses would not play zone coverage with a 5-man rush, so this can easily throw off a young quarterback. However, look at Allen on this play. Not only does he realize what's going on, but he has enough patience to not just throw the ball too early, because then it would only gain 2 yards and then be a tackle. He waits and gives his player a chance to make a play. Kroom is able to make a great run after the catch, and they pick up a lot of yards, but it was all set up because Allen was very aware of what was going on. We all knew he can beat you with his legs, but this play shows that he can also beat you with his brain. And not only that, but he can beat you with both at the same time. Take a look at this play for example. Miami's running a cover one hole on this play, and typically to beat a cover one hole, you want to throw towards the sidelines. And that's actually good news for Buffalo, as they do have a receiver running a sideline route that could end up getting open. However, the problem with that is that he's not really going to get open too well. Josh Allen is actually looking downfield in his direction, trying to make a deep throw. However, nothing is open. So he knows the play, and he knows what he can do. However, he can't make that throw since the guy's not open. You have to win your one-on-one -on -one matchups in order for this play to work. So instead what Allen is going to do is simply create his own route. He's going to run to that side of the screen. He's not just scrambling to pick up whatever he can pick up. This is an intelligent decision by Josh Allen. He knows if he runs to the outside, he's going to have a lot of space to pick up some yards. Oftentimes you see a quarterback run just because they see an opening, but Josh Allen isn't doing that here. He's running because he knows that he has a good chance of gaining a ton of yards, and that's exactly what happens. He's able to pick up a big gain. You can't be successful in this league without a quarterback, and if you're not a typical quarterback, you're going to get a lot of heat really for no reason. However, Josh Allen is a ton of fun to watch, and clearly he's proving that he can be effective in the NFL. And if he can continue to make plays like these, Buffalo just might have their franchise quarterback. Rap, 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 rap,